So Hocus Pocus is absolutely brilliant and is a true Halloween staple. I mean, you have to watch it every single year and I just cannot wait for the sequel. What is up everybody? Welcome back to my channel Lifestyle Critic. I hope you're having a brilliant day. So in this video we are going to be reviewing Hocus Pocus which is a true fantasy horror comedy movie about the evil Sanderson sisters and is a true cult classic that still holds up today even though it was made all the way back in the 90s and I just think it's so fascinating that when it first launched it A didn't perform that well critically in the box office and it didn't perform that well commercially either but over the years like I said it has become a true Halloween icon and on Freeform and on the Disney Channel it's literally taken a life of its own but it's taken so long for a sequel to finally come as I'm sure it will be absolutely incredible but in this video we are going to be reviewing the absolute classic Hocus Pocus 1. <laughs> So the evil Sanderson sisters and witches wanted to suck out all of the life force of kids so that they can have eternal life and eternal youth. But during the Salem witch trials, they were hung for all of their crimes but then casted a spell for them to return. And then they did return 300 years later when a virgin lit the black candle, bringing them back and allowing them to continue exactly where they left off. And from a positive point of view, this movie, like I said, is just so brilliant. I feel like it blends comedy and horror really really well. The original script of this movie was going to be even more horrific in terms of having a lot more kids and a lot more evil things happening but then they balanced the comedy angle a lot more and injected a lot more humour into the movie and aged up some of the kids to teenagers and I feel like that was definitely the right move as I just feel like narratively this movie just works really really well and I feel like it's really authentic to not only the Salem witch trials but also how witches are depicted and the spells that they're able to cast and the terror that some evil witches definitely are able to pose to a lot of different characters definitely is felt in this movie and the musical score that I put a spell on you instant classic is just so wicked and I feel like it goes through all of its material relatively quickly it's a really well fast-paced movie and at a runtime of one hour and a half I feel like it packs a massive almighty punch which is really really brilliant and it's just such a timeless classic I feel like you can watch it again and again and still enjoy it because of the actresses and the actors are just so wicked and the storyline is definitely so timeless which is why it's allowed this movie to cast a big net in terms of its fan base and to grow its fan base year after year even though like I said it was filmed so long ago. However from a negative point of view I wish that this movie just had a lot more horror moments in there. I feel like the final act of this movie really does demonstrate what they are capable of doing. As I have to say the final few moments of this movie are really really gripping, true edge of your seat viewing and it really does show how evil these witches really are. But that being said from from a storyline point of view this movie is still really really strong and I just have to give a shout out to that Satan moment which I just thought was absolutely hilarious. So from a storyline perspective Hocus Pocus is just absolutely brilliant. <laughs> So the cast and characters in Hocus Pocus truly do make it what it is. So let's go through them one by one. So first up, of course, we have the formidable Bette Midler playing Winnie Sanderson. And she was just so phenomenal. She is the evil mastermind sister of the trio. And she does do a lot of evil, barbaric, cunning things in this film. But I have to say, Bette Midler was the perfect person to play this role as she is just instantly having so much presence as the Winnie character and is just able to deliver all of the lines in both a scary way and a hilarious way. And Bette Midler herself has said that, you know, Hocus Pocus easily was the set in which she had the most fun in and you really can feel that as if it, like, it transpires to the audience, especially when the cast and characters themselves are enjoying the experience so much. So I have to say, Bette Midler owns this movie. We also have Sarah Jessica Parker and Kathy Najimi playing the sisters Sarah and Mary and I thought it was really clever how they gave both of them different individual powers so for example the Mary character can smell out children and the Sarah character can use her siren type voice to attract children so I feel like actually they rounded the sister group off really really well and of course both of these sisters are really really goofy really really silly and definitely do bring a lot of humor and I feel like they tap into the goofy side of these two characters really really well we've also got the younger cast who I am surprised that they're not much bigger stars but I I guess it goes to show how competitive Hollywood really is. So first up we have Omri Katz who is playing lead character Max 
Davidson and I feel like he was really good actually in this role and I really like his character arc and character trajectory across this film. So at first he moves from LA to this destination and he really does not like it and really actually wants to rebel and wants to go back home and gets bullied and gets mugged as well but then ends up becoming the town's saviour which I just thought was so brilliant. And like I said, Max just delivers the lines really, really well. I feel like you can feel all of the terrifying moments. You can feel all of the triumphant moments. You can feel all of the moments where he's trying to outsmart a lot of the other characters as well. So Max was a really great lead. In this movie, we've also got Thorna Birch, who is playing his younger sister, Danny, the annoying bratty younger sister. But actually, I feel like she is really talented from a child actor perspective, as she was able to deliver all of her lines really, really effectively. And you can really believe all of the moments similarly to when she is really terrified when she is just using the fact that she is the younger child against her older brother. And you can really feel the terror in all of the other characters with Danny as well. So I feel like she was really, really good. We've also got Vanessa Shaw, who is playing the love interest, Alison, and I feel like they definitely give the Alison character a lot more dimension than just being the person that Max is attracted to as her parents used to run the museum which used to be the Sanderson sisters house and because of this she knows how to get Max and Danny into the house so I feel like actually she was a really integral part of the group. Sean Murray was really really good as a younger Thackeray character who very tragically gets trapped as a cat for eternity so really you really do feel sorry for this character but then he becomes the sage of wisdom to the next group of characters. Doug Jones was really really good as Billy the zombie the one that actually got in the middle of two of the sisters in the past. I would have loved if they delved into that particular storyline narrative a little bit more but Doug Jones is going to return in Hocus Pocus 2 so hopefully we get to see a little bit more there and I thought Jay and Ice were really really cool as the human bullies towards Max and I'm really glad that they did show that actually these two characters have got a rough time based upon the fact that they cause a lot of terror from a human perspective to a lot of the other kids in this town and then finally we've also got the parents and I thought it was really clever how they got the parents involved into this storyline as well so I have to say from a cast and characters point of view Hocus Pocus totally delivered. <laughs> So from a visuals point of view, Hocus Pocus looks absolutely brilliant. I mean, you can tell that it was filmed all the way back in the 90s, and some of the set pieces and the VFX in particular feels very dated and doesn't really translate that well to a modern age. But that being said, you know, the visuals are really, really brilliant in terms of depicting this evil, dark world of the Sanderson sisters, and it feels really authentic for how you would visually represent witches in terms of all of their spells, their cauldrons, their hats, their outfits, their brooms, their powers as well. You can really feel like actually these three sisters have sided with the devil. So I feel like it really has got that edge to it and definitely does have the authenticity for being a true Halloween classic. <laughs> So from a comparisons point of view, even though Hocus Pocus definitely does stand out from the crowd, I feel like there are loads of movies that you can definitely compare it to. So for example, it's really similar to The Witches, Casper, Haunted Mansion, Practical Magic, Charm the TV series, The Addams Family, and Death Becomes Her as well, especially from a female-centric lead point of view. So I have to say, this movie, even though it is a little bit similar to other films, it absolutely is able to stand on its own as well, and I just can't wait to see the sequel to see how they're going to continue this awesome narrative. <laughs> So overall, Hocus Pocus is an instant Halloween classic for a reason because it's just such an enjoyable movie and absolutely stellar cast, stellar performances, brilliant storyline narrative. I feel like there are so many hookable moments and you're just constantly re-engaged in this film and it's just so, so, so strong. Very 90s and is just the perfect amount of nostalgia that you really want when you want to be transported back to that particular decade. So I feel like it's going to be so brilliant and so interesting and so fascinating to see how everything's going to be continued in Hocus Pocus 2, but as far as the first one is concerned, I have to give it a solid seven out of 10. Now I'd love to hear what you thought of Hocus Pocus, so please let me know in the comment section below. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in my next video.